Handy Andy back at it with another DIY install. Today we're going to be looking at the Diva Smart Dimmer Starter Kit from Lutron. We'll also be looking at their Claro light switch and a tabletop pedestal for the Pico remote. I'll be installing this switch by retrofitting my old one with this new smart one. The question is, should you make the switch to a smart switch? We're about to find out. Cue the intro. So out of the box, this is everything that you get inside of that switch. I do have an unboxing video, so be sure to watch that if you are interested in purchasing this. But you have your quick start guides and everything that you need to know, including the screws, information about the Pico remote uh, to mount that up onto the wall. But we're going to be using that tabletop pedestal and there's the Pico remote right there. So different ways of using it. Of course, you could just move it around like a standard remote. Here's where I'm going to be installing it in my living room. You'll notice that I have these two tablets, but underneath there, I do have a dimmer light switch. In fact, it's a Lutron dimmer light switch. And when I put the new one beside the old one, what's interesting, it's pretty much the exact same. You can't even tell the difference, except one of them has obviously smart Wi-Fi capabilities into it. So this tells me that this install is going to be pretty easy. Step one, you got to go to your breaker and turn off that. Look how ugly my breaker panel is. My house was built in the 40s. I've renovated everything, but this still looks nasty. But I do know where that light switch is. And so I've switched it off. And now is the time where I have to take off the old one. If you don't have any electrical experience, you might want to get somebody who's an electrician or somebody with electrical experience to do this. Uh, it's not like changing a light bulb. There is some wires and stuff involved in the back. So I'm pulling it out and I'm very, very happy at this point because everything is nicely color coded. The red go to red, green goes to the green, the black goes to black. So this tells me that this retrofit install is going to go smooth like butter. And here's just the sped up version of putting on the new smart switch. And again, it's Lutron. So everything kind of fits, which is nice because you'll see that tablet right above there if it even was a little bit higher i would have been in a lot of trouble but this one fits perfectly to a t because it's pretty much the exact same light switch except smart capabilities now i'm testing it after turning the breaker panel back on and everything is working at the light switch which now means i need to go into the app to do the rest of the install and here you want to make sure you select the right light switch that you have i have the dima diva smart dimmer so i'm going to use that and then basically assign it to a room tell it what kind of light it is it is super easy and user friendly and you can even see when the light is on just by that that dot that colored dot on the bottom there where it says main lights on the living room and now i can adjust it as a dimmer switch even inside the app and that will adjust the dimmer on the actual light so that tells me that the app is set up now let's try it at the dimmer switch itself you can even kind of see the lights dimming in the background but if i pull the camera over to the light you'll notice that as i move it around it is dimming up and down so super easy install i should note that that smart hub was already connected because I have previous Lutron devices. Now I'm going to retrofit this Claro light switch. It's just an on and off switch. Super simple. And here it is set up. You'll notice that even when it's off, there is a small little light. And that's just to help you find and locate the light switch when it's completely dark inside of a room. And I thought that was a nice little uh, addition that they did from Lutron. Now it's about setting up the Pico remote. This is the remote. There are instructions, but you assign it to whatever light switch that you want. You can even switch it up later on pun intended and here i am testing it up in the living room you'll notice there's a bit of a delay and that's because it is connecting to the wi-fi network so it has to go through all of that to switch uh, the light on and off and then i attached it to that pedestal that this came with and that makes it really nice you can go right beside on your table you can then you know adjust the lights However, if you want voice control, you can also set that up. And that's what I'm doing inside the app with Alexa. I'm in the Alexa app. They're a partner with Lutron. So it is pretty simple for it to look. In fact, what was interesting, I found out that I had about five other Lutron devices in total in my house. None of them were connected to Alexa because I have this Airbnb suite in my house where I have Lutron light switches in both the bathroom and the kitchen. 
and I never connected it to Alexa because I really just wanted to be able to control it. If somebody left the bathroom on, I could you know, turn it off on the app if I noticed it from the outside. But now I'm gonna switch all of them on into Alexa so I can do everything by a voice command. You have to assign where your switches are I put with the bedroom and everything. So it's kind of like the clapper. I can be in bed, laying in bed, and I can turn the light on and off, which is pretty why I put that Claro light switch in the bedroom. So all in all, everything is now working. I have the switch connected. I even played an instruction video on my Echo Show. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Diva Smart Dimmer Starter Kit and also the Claro switch if you did smash that like button leave your comments below and let me know what you think about smart switches i'm andy barrar handy andy from handy andy media we'll see you again next time folks bye for now